talking nerdcore, talking nerdcore today. We're talking nerdcore, talking nerdcore all the way. We're talking nerdcore, talking nerdcore today. We're talking nerdcore, talking nerdcore all the way. Hey guys, how's it going? It's the Anime Over Analyst here, and on today's episode of Talking Nerdcore, I have on Sailor Your Love. Hey, Sailor. Uh, hello. What's going on? Not, not much. Uh, you want to introduce yourself a little bit? Uh, my name is Sailor Your Love, and I am a nerdcore musician as well as a streamer, um, and we're here to talk about anime. Oh yeah, and uh, specifically ReZero. And this this one was a fun one to kind of set up this this episode because neither of us had seen ReZero. And let me say, it is it was a hard one for me to watch, like to really focus on because I feel like the story is everywhere. Like yeah. it's just everywhere. <laughs> like, like I would have to rewind just to catch up because I'm like, okay, what did I miss? I had to have missed something. <laughs> yes, yeah. Um, I managed to watch watch it all within like a week, but I also had yeah. a lot of time on my hands at that time. Yeah, <laughs> I had to watch it in between working and stuff, and oh my gosh, like I'd be like, okay, what happened? Like this doesn't make any sense, and I had to go back. Mm-hmm. It was definitely, it's definitely one of the more intricate anime I've ever watched. Yeah, <laughs> I'll say that. I I noticed that they they do throw in a lot of subtle references in the. Oh. Yes. So, and we'll probably get to it. So, just kind of right off the bat, uh, for those of you who uh, don't or don't know ReZero, it's about a dude named Subaru who gets isekai'd. It's an isekai, which means he got transported into another world. And this one was a little bit weird. It was... It- he it went never shopping? explains. It never explains yeah. why it happened. Like, never. Like, you keep thinking it's going to explain. Like, okay, like, why him? But, like, it never really yeah. does. Yeah. I, I mean, I was waiting for Truck Coon to come and hit him. And instead, it was just he just closes his eyes, wake, opens it up, and all of a sudden, he's another world. Like, yeah. okay. <laughs> it, it doesn't make any Yeah, anyways. Yes. <clears throat> yeah. So, the... The first couple episodes is him just trying to adjust to the new world, and he meets Amelia for the first time. Except, at first she refers to herself as Satella, some kind of witch. Do you understand why she referred to herself as a well at first i thought she was just being a bitch about it but then at the end of the show you're like okay so wait like is she actually satella though like what the heck because then you meet you meet the witches and then and then the trials and you're like wait so she is a fucking witch like what like this whole time you're thinking this show is a fucking roller coaster to anyone that's gonna watch (laughs) this i will tell you there were so many times where i was like angry because for the longest time She only says that one time to him. And then, like, you know, he dies a million fucking times. Mm -hmm. And then when he comes back, she never says it again. And, like, when he asks her, like, why did you, like, lie to me about your name? She, like, in my opinion, gave, like, a real beat around the bush answer. Like, I I don't know. Like, this is going to have to be one of those interviews where you have to explain some stuff to me. Because it did not click in my brain a lot of this. Honestly, like, it was just one of those situations where she she didn't just make sense i don't think they're gonna talk about it or they might talk about it later on i don't know but i doubt it i I think it was just there and we kind of have to piece it together i was just as confused it was okay i'm glad i'm glad i'm not (laughs) the only one because i was like dude i'm gonna hop into this interview and he's gonna think i'm stupid because i can there are so many parts of this anime where i am just like so lost and no matter how I try to piece it together, there's, like, you have to pretty much have an imagination to watch the show to, like, really piece it together. Because they yeah, can go in so many different ways. Yeah, either that or take lots of notes. <laughs> yes, lots of notes, for Which sure. Which I did not do. Usually I take notes when I watch a show for this type of deal, but I was just like, nah, I'm just going to absorb it. And that, yeah. I did. Yeah. 
So let's kind of, kind of backtrack a little bit. So Subaru is in this world and he he finds out that his power is that whenever he dies, he comes back to life at a save point, though he doesn't know what the save point is or where. How do you feel about that whole death by life or that whole what did death he call by it? what did he uh, re- I return uh, by death re- return by death that's what it was yeah I mean it's a, okay I like the aspect of it it was super cool but there was a time where it kind of lost me because in like the uh, when he first shows up to the mansion mm-hmm. like a few episodes in while he's at the mansion it was like almost as if if he died too many times he would come back just like real messed up but then that stopped happening like it only happened a couple times where he would he would die so many times and then he would be like drained and he would reek of the witch and all this stuff and then it never happened again though and he died like a million other times so yeah. that point that part of it i feel like they were really inconsistent with cuz i'm like okay is it either going to like cuz at one point he was worried if he was going to die for real because it was almost like every time he would die, he'd come back to life just feeling like shit. And then it just never was a problem again. So I feel like it was just really inconsistent with that kind of aspect of it. Yeah. It it, it was the whole, like, each time he came back, he, str- he smelled stronger of the witch. And yeah. really, the only other time that they brought that up was in season two when mm-hmm. uh, Garfield was like, you stink of the witch. And That's Garf- the blonde kid, right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. The the one yeah, who turns really into a giant cat like Garfield. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That is funny. I didn't think about that. That's funny. Yeah. Um. There was there was another name in there that was like a pun, and it was really funny to me, and I can't remember who it was. Um, Petalgeus? Or no, no, no. It wasn't him. I think it was a girl, and her name was something, and it made me laugh because it was like. I'll think of it. I'll think of it when we talk about the characters. But it yeah. was they did they had a lot of that where they would name a character. And it would oh Felix yeah the, uh, Felix the cat. the cat yeah that was yeah that's what I giggled at yeah so that that's definitely in- interesting so we we talked a little bit about the whole return for death aspect um my my issue with it was that he never really had tried any other different types of attempts he only just tried <clears throat> telling it but. I feel like there was there was some way that he could have circumnavigated it a little bit or tried to throw in like wrote it on a piece of paper. Wrote it on a piece of paper <laughs> or something, you know, like um, yeah. Yeah. But I feel like either way, I feel like they would have even if he tried that, I feel like they would have like made it, you know, grab his heart or whatever yeah. it did. I feel like there was no way around it no matter what. But then he was able the first time he was able to say it to anybody was when he met, he met that witch. Yeah. Um which I don't, I don't like her at all. So <laughs> oh, we'll get interesting. there. Interesting. Yeah, I <laughs> I I thought she was interesting. I am mm-hmm. um, but yeah, we'll get to that. So he he meets Amelia and falls in falls in love with her immediately because reasons. <sighs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know yeah. why. I, I literally, the whole show, I was just like, I don't get it. I don't get his obsession. I don't get it. She was kind of a bitch at first. like, mm-hmm. And then, especially when Rem comes into the picture, and I was Rem so is mad. such a sweetheart. <laughs> I was so mad. I was like, what? Especially when he gets to that point where he's like, you know, he realizes there's nothing he can do to save the village and the and the mansion. And he's like, let's just run away together, Rem. And, like, wants to run away with her. And then when she is, like, finally like, okay, I love you. He's like, but I don't love you, though. And I'm like, you're... Ooh, oh, I was so heated. That, 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 that entire episode was just that conversation, which... Yeah. At, at and first, was I was like, sitting there, and I was like, this episode's taking forever. That's how I felt the whole show. The whole show. So, like, when I was watching it the mm-hmm. last two weeks, just, like, binging it. And I even rewatched half of the last season yesterday just to, like, catch up. Yeah. And my boyfriend was like, this anime is, like, the longest anime you've ever watched. I'm like, it's only two seasons, dude. It's only two seasons. But it's yes. just the episodes. Even in the uh, – because I don't know what you – you watched it on Crunchyroll, but I watched it on HBO. And, like, the first mm-hmm. episodes uh, – the first season episodes are an hour long, but they have, like, two episodes in one episode. 
Yeah. The second season is 24 minutes each episode. And even though they're only 24 minutes, I swear they like go on for like 58 minutes because it's just they never end. Um, I just feel like there's a lot to this anime that they tried to fit in two seasons. And I think if they had maybe split it up into like four seasons, it would have made a lot more sense if they had like taken more time to like get detailed with the actual storyline. Yeah. <clears throat> um, I mean, I didn't really have too much of a problem with that. I did think that it was slow a little bit, but um, I don't know. I didn't have uh, pacing wise. I didn't find that in too much of an issue for me. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. Yeah. I just, I feel like the, like the details that we were just speaking about, like, like they could have been more like how, why he was transported. Why mm-hmm. was it him? Or like the return by death, like the yeah. details that they could have added to make it make more sense. Mm-hmm. I feel like would have been nice if they had spread it out more. You know what I mean? Yeah. So the, that's, that is an issue. So we basically move on to the mansions mansion area and you kind of brought it up a little bit where like he he gets to the mansion uh basically amelia adopts him a little bit and yeah (laughs) um she's on the quest to be like the ruler of the kingdom and uh there she, she meets uh he meets rosewall who is the head of this family this mm-hmm. weird dude and then rem and ram who are mates mm-hmm. so what you think of like rosewall i never trusted him like from the yeah. minute i met him i was like he's fucking weird <laughs> he's given off some vibes yeah. i do not trust this guy at all and then like more into that season he like kind of makes you trust him but then he just disappears so then you're like okay well like where is he (laughs) and then you don't see him until like season two almost so it's like i didn't trust him almost the whole time yeah well he's a weird character you get this feeling that he knows what subaru can do he's just kind of yeah because he he wants rom to keep an eye on him yeah and it shows that multiple times between his different deaths and like the different mm-hmm. worlds, like how him and Rom have that connection in that yeah. office, you know, and they sit down and watch him and stuff. And I'm just like, this is just creepy to me, like the whole aspect of it. And I just, I, I never, like, I always kind of pictured him being a villain, like mm-hmm. the whole time. Yeah. And he kind of, he kind of is. Yep. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. So, yeah, they're, they're at the mansion. Subaru Subaru was trying to hook up with Amelia and you know there was the one one life where he really tried having a date with her and then he dies yeah. in the middle of his sleep yeah I and we never did we ever find out why yeah yes actually um I, I picked up on this immediately. I kind I figured this was going to go the way. He, it was the T, right? No. It oh. was, uh, he walked up to Amelia on that date, and she, she noticed that he had a bandage around his hand. And he yeah. goes, I got bit by a dog. Yeah. And it's that dog in the village. Oh, it's the demon dog. It's the demon dog. Okay. Yes. That makes sense. Yeah. Part of me thought it was because that before he goes to sleep, remember, Rom always brings in that tea. Part of me thought yeah. she was killing him. Like, she was poisoning him. Oh. Because the night, the <laughs> night after, when they were, like, studying languages, yeah. he, he didn't drink the tea that night. And then he didn't die. And so then I thought it was just the tea that she was making him drink. But that makes more sense, the dog bite. Yeah. It makes more sense. Yeah. yeah. And that's, that's actually how Rem died as yeah. well that one time because she got mm-hmm. bit by the dog yes so I remember that what do you Rem. think about that entire arc delving into like rem's backstory a little bit i liked the backstory of the girls rem and rom mm-hmm. i thought had a really nice backstory um i didn't really understand the whole obsession that rem had like having to be better than her sister because i feel like in all honesty, her sister never really did a whole bunch. Like, she was good at magic and stuff, but I didn't think it was, like... I think they... I don't know. 
I mean, I'll never understand that. Sibling rivalry, I guess. Yeah. Um, but other than that, I thought their backstory in general was really good. Um, I wish that they had kind of played on that more throughout the seasons, but they didn't. Which yeah. Which is fine, I guess. Yeah, they they <clears throat> pretty much introduce it, and then they're like, so, yeah, Ra- uh, who, who's the one missing a horn? That's Ram. Um, Ram? Yeah, Ram yeah. is missing it because, yeah, because then that's why um, – Rem decides to become like this badass because after mm-hmm. Rom loses her horn, no one can protect her sister, so she does it. Yeah. Which doesn't make sense to me because in the beginning she was shit at magic. So I was just like, how did all of a sudden you just go from being shit to like being to being a super badass? Super berserk, berserker. Yeah, yeah. That part was like I was just like, well, then why were you in competitive with her the whole time? But I don't know. I don't yeah. know. Oh, and then and then with the whole horn thing, mm-hmm. because Roswell, what does he do with her? Like with the at night, he would like I get. I always power? interpreted that as he's putting magical power into her, trying to sustain it's, her okay. life force or something like that. I but, couldn't tell if he was putting it into her or taking it from her. I so it looked like it was he was putting it into her, like trying to seal up the wound or something like that. Yeah, because then at the end. At the very, like, last two episodes, he's, like, Mm -hmm. doing that while she's on the ground. So that would make sense. Yeah. Yeah. And I figure, like, that's that's kind of, like, how she can use her magic. Her wind magic is from that mana source. So she's kind of borrowing it from Roswell in a way. Yeah. So... Yeah, that that's pretty much it. That entire arc, like, I, I figured it was the dog that was poisoning everybody at first. And such a cute dog though. I didn't yeah. I didn't suspect anything. He's a cute dog. Yeah. He didn't have like any I mean, he was kind of a dick to other people, but he didn't like it, it nothing pointed him to being like a bad dog in the beginning. Until like the weird demon dogs came and then he was like you see yeah. this little dog just like controlling all these giant beasts and you're like, Okay, mm-hmm. okay. <laughs> yeah. <go> with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did and did you notice that the girl holding the dog Turns out to be one of the assassins the, in season w- yes, two. Yes, yes, the blue-haired girl. Yes. Yes, I yes. did notice that. Because she's the one who, um, oh, God, what's the little girl's name that she, like, she's like, Petra? I out of her misery fast. Yeah, her. Mm-hmm. And I was like, God, this lady's not nice. Yeah. <clears throat> so, um, yep, we move on there to the selection exam. Where, or not exam, but basically Amelia it goes up. I don't even understand the point of this ceremony, but oh, it, yeah. it, it, it was just kind of one of those where it's like everyone is here all of a sudden. And then we get introduced to the fifth princess who is Felt. Oh, yeah, Felt. I forgot. I, we didn't talk about them in the beginning, I, but yeah. Felt is like, I really like her. We never see her again. I know that that actually. I just noticed annoyed- that. Yeah, old I, man Rom and her. We never see them again. I actually really liked Felt's character in the beginning, and I was just fuck? really surprised that she she literally showed up in the entrance exam. Says I'm gonna tear everything down, and then and then old man Rom sp- comes to get her. And yeah. then she's like, you know what? I will take part in it. And then we literally never see her again. Like, I, I just noticed that. Yeah. Like, the whole second season, she's nowhere to be found. That's bullshit. Yeah. But they are coming out with more. So maybe she'll be in, like, the third season. Yeah. I mean, and she, she, I don't know how she would have been able to help Subaru at all in any of the other. I don't know. How does Petra help? She's moral support. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> like I Fair feel enough. like I feel like Petra really took on just like Felt's character. Like even if you think about it, like Petra kind of mm-hmm. has the same. She's younger, but she kind of yeah. has like the same personality as like kind of Felt did. But even Old Man Ron, like I really liked him. Oh yeah, like, he could have helped somehow. And oh, let's talk about the witchy bitch in the beginning that shows up in the oh, second Elsa. season. Oh, Elsa. God, I can't stand her. Really? Like, yeah, she's horrible. And she it, it's almost like she's, I mean, she finally, she gets killed, finally. But yeah. it's almost like she's, like, for the longest time, like, no one can touch her. She's just, 
Mm-hmm. She's just she's super I'm like, overpowered. She's not even, but she, yeah, but she's there's no reason to be like there's no way a woman yeah. can fight in that dress without her titties falling out in those heels and yeah. be not touched. There's no way, and she's the only one in the whole series that looks like that. And so I'm like, mm-hmm. I don't know why they made her such like a sex idol in this show. But there's absolutely no because even at the end when you like find out who she's working with, yeah. she's by far the weakest of all of them. Yeah. So I'm like, how is she so powerful when she's like the weakest link of the entire group? I don't know. She was, I mean, I get the character, like she was cool, but I'm just like, there's, it doesn't make sense. It's another aspect that doesn't make sense to me. I mean, her fascination with like splitting people's guts open was just so weird. No one else in the whole series she it, it almost felt like they picked her up from a different series and dropped mm-hmm. her in because no one else in the whole series had any kind of they didn't talk like her they didn't yeah. have like the beliefs like she did she was just like this really creepy character with giant boobs and no one yeah. else was anything like I her I mean they it was did so weird. mention that she was from the north so whatever the north means but yeah she I guess the north people have huge tits guys go, I guess. go to the north go to the north <laughs> But other yeah. than that, like, her character, I don't know. She was cool, but she was just really devious. And I was just, like, kind of at first, when you first meet her, you're like, okay, like, she's an assassin trying to get this thing from Felt, like, whatever. Mm-hmm. But then towards the end, when you figure out who she's working with, you're just like, how is she so powerful then? I don't get it. <laughs> I just don't get well, it. Well, which also kind of makes makes it interesting, because that means Rosewall, in the beginning, was, hired her to steal amelia's yeah bad. that why because he's working for the witch because he's one of the but but he also the... he also wants her to be in the exam or be in public yeah. right or does yeah. it matter did it matter i don't know I, like Dude, i don't know which is which is why i think he, he it's something to do with subaru like he he's in on Subaru showing up somehow. Hmm. All these things that they didn't answer, man. Yeah. If they had just if they had just spread it out a little bit instead <laughs> of cramming it into two seasons, like I said, they yep. could have explained so much more than they did. Honestly. But yeah, yeah. that's another thing. And then they're gonna have to put felt back in because because the um the knight for her, mm-hmm. the red haired dude, what's what's his name? Uh Reinhardt. Yeah, Reinhard. And because and Subaru even mentions him in the second season, like, mm-hmm. oh, we can get Reinhard to help. And then everyone was just like, no, we can't actually. But they never explain why. And so they're going to have to bring him and Felt back Yeah, in season three. There's nowhere they're not. Did you catch on that Reinhard was able to beat Puck? I think, I think that he was able to beat her in the second season. Was it the second season? I think it was. I didn't even see him in the or second what, season. Or was it? Or was it? Was it the first season? It might have been the first season, actually. When, when do they Puck, mention that? Uh, Puck kind of goes on a murderous rampage, and they're at one point they confront each other. I'm trying to remember. I thought what. it was Roswell. No, it, it's it's Reinhardt because she goes in. She's like, I gotta destroy the world, and he's like, Oh, that's unfortunate. I gotta protect the world, and then. Oh, how did I miss that? Yeah. Weird. I know that Puck and, and Roswell did like this huge scene where they were like fighting each other. Remember when they were saying how Roswell and Puck met? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I remember that part. Oh. I didn't remember yeah. that part. So. Huh. We also haven't mentioned Beatrice. What do you think about Beatrice? I really like her character, yeah. supposedly. Um, I suppose she's I suppose. adorable. <laughs> she's adorable. Um, <laughs> I really like her. Like she's really spunky. And then, and then when she, when she dies, I was like, mm-hmm. this is fucked. I hate the show. I'm over it. And then yeah. in the end, she ends up coming back. But yeah. when you fi- when you f- hear her story, it made me even like her more. Like when mm-hmm. she like breaks down to Subaru and she's like, just yeah. kill me. And I'm like, no, like <laughs> don't do that. Like I really like her. Um, and how she was always like she always hated him, but mm-hmm. also always helped him like even yeah. when he didn't know it i really did like her i think she's probably one of my favorite characters in this whole I, show actually. i i agree and i think she's a spirit she is yeah because yeah. she like she literally never dies like she can't yeah. kill herself she can't someone else has to kill her yeah um because she's what is the witch's name 
It's like a clit. It's a weird name. She made her, right? Like she, she made her to um, keep track of the library. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. It was basically to keep track of the library and as well as to help with uh, kind of that whole barrier immortality issue that yeah she was doing for the second season yeah so but yeah she's probably my favorite one of my favorite characters her and rem it's her a kidna are, are my favorite echidna that's right <clears throat> echidna that's right. Mm-hmm. yeah um yeah she's definitely one of my favorite characters and rem is one of my favorite characters honestly not a fan of Su- subaru not a fan of him I'm, i i think was... he's kind of a bitch like he cries a lot. I, like I almost wanted to text you and be like, drinking game, every time he cries. <laughs> We'd be so drunk. We'd be so <laughs> drunk. It's constant. And like, uh, I, I, I watched it out in the living room mm-hmm. and that's where my boyfriend's desk is. Yeah. And we were in the last season, like him and Amelia just fucking ball every every episode and he's like jesus christ he's playing with his gamer friends and they're like god who's crying over there and he's like dude she's been crying for like 30 minutes i swear like she (laughs) just doesn't stop like it's just like they're both just such cry babies um Mm -hmm. and they even and and the mom of um amelia even calls her that my little cry baby when you see her like childhood but i'm just like god they just don't stop crying crying and he is just and i get it he's like a kid and that the episode um mm-hmm. oh, i'm sure we'll get to it but when his parents come into the yeah. picture it's just him crying to his dad like the whole 24 minutes yeah and i'm like jesus christ that was the one thing i wish that he wasn't such he wasn't such a pussy in the mm-hmm. show that's like my biggest complaint is him being the protag is just he's just a baby yeah i mean <clears throat> What what also got me was like I'm I was just okay with that kind of like in the first season because he wasn't used to being stabbed constantly and feeling the pain and the mental psychology, but then yeah. he started he started being more confident in himself and then sure. it just seemed like his character regressed in the second yeah. season and I'm just sitting there it's like he's literally relearning everything again literally like when the it it really hit me when the village and the mm-hmm. mansion get like just destroyed by yeah what's his name bat Be- Be- petal goose Be- or yes petal goose. whatever his name is <laughs> um and I, I don't know if you play monster hunter but um it always reminds me of the uh monster basil geese and i was just like okay that's all i could think of when i heard his name um but um when that happens, and that's the same episode where he, like, confesses to Rem. He's like, let's run away together. I was like, mm-hmm. you literally know you could just kill yourself and, like, restart. Like, there's yeah. always a way to fix it. I don't know why. And I'm sure, like, w- none of us can understand mm-hmm. being killed a million times. I'm sure it doesn't feel yeah. great. But you know, like, seeing these people dead is worse than just killing yourself. So why don't you just do it and fix it somehow? There's always a way. Mm-hmm. And like for him, for them to have to waste an entire episode of Rem and him just to convince him to not give up was just stupid to me. Um, but yeah, I, I feel the same way. I feel like he really regressed in that aspect because I'm like, you already know this. You already have been through this. You've already seen some like messed up shit. Like, I don't know yeah. why this is any different. So that was definitely one thing, too. I was like, and what, what what really got me was when all all the uh, princesses were gather gathering together he became so overconfident like unnecessarily annoying are you talking about in the council yeah in the council yeah when they when she got pissed and they kicked him out yeah that entire episode didn't make sense there was no reason for it nothing happened to add to the story nothing like i feel like they just made that episode for her to get mad at him and then they were on bad terms Mm -hmm. and because it, yeah. the whole like you broke you broke a promise like she it, says that so many fucking times by the way yeah all the time um i just i don't know i feel like that was definitely overplayed i don't know it just mm-hmm. it was weird that whole episode to me was weird it was literally just them being in front of the council introducing themselves and then her getting mad, kicking him out. Him looking absolutely stupid in front of the knights. And then at one point yeah. you think, okay, this is going to go somewhere. Mm-hmm. It doesn't. 
And they're like, no, actually, you're a joke. Get out. And they just kick him out. And that's like the episode. And you're like, okay, all right. I don't know why that happened, but okay. Yeah. Like, and that's why I was just like, what's the point of this meeting? It's not like they even introduced like an exam or something or introduced like what. It was just basically, okay, we're going to have all the princesses come together to meet each other. Well, that and then it. it was like almost like the council was judging them if they were okay, if they could run or not. Yeah. Because it's like if you knew she was running, you should have already known she was a half elf. You should have already known who she was, that she had mm-hmm. silver hair, all this shit. And it was almost like the council was meeting the princesses for the first time. And it's like, then how are they running against each other if they have not even been like okay yeah. to run? You know what I mean? It was just weird. It was a weird one. Yeah. And it. I mean, it just seems super convenient. The royal family just mysteriously died. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, Do you think there would be more of an uproar or something, but everyone's going about their daily business like, yeah, we have no government. Maybe they just really hated their government at the time and they just didn't care. <laughs> I have no idea. I, I feel like... I feel like in those aspects, whoever wrote the show was not um, as aware of, like, how council should be ran, I guess. Like, yeah. If you get that feeling. <clears throat> yeah, it was very weird. And then I I almost felt like it was unfair for Amelia to get so upset with Subaru afterward a little bit. I, w- I was a little bit torn I personally, I think all of their arguments were like so dumb. Like, yeah. you know, those like little arguments that you have with somebody that like blow up over nothing. Mm-hmm. Like, that's how I feel every single argument that they ever had. And I definitely felt like she was so harsh to him. But I felt that way because I felt like she doesn't like she doesn't love him at all. Like there's yeah. and there's she shouldn't. They've known each other for like days. OK, there's, yeah, there's no reason for her to be like. Um, I'm a princess, I'm in love with you, and I'm going to drop my whole career for you. No, like, yeah. that's weird. And I feel like he's, like, such a simp for no reason. Like, you literally <laughs> have so... And that's another thing I was thinking, too, especially mm-hmm. towards the end with, um, oh, gosh, the girl that we really like. the Beatrice? Yes. And then she's like, well, he's my number one priority. I'm like, how is he getting all these women? How? He's like, yeah. there's no, there's no reason for all these women to just, like, fall over for him he's a whiny baby like yeah um it just doesn't make any like that whole aspect i'm like there's no reason for him to like be so in love with her but she was super harsh on him and i was like well it's probably because she just doesn't give a fuck like Mm -hmm. who are you just embarrassed me in front of this whole council when i already have a hard enough time being half elf yeah you know like yeah i'm pissed like i get that you're not you're not helping things and just the yeah. whole like they the only reason why Subaru was there was to heal up because he used magic, which his power yeah, he wasn't he wasn't even supposed to be there. Yeah. So his power was kind of stupid at first. That whole like black mist thing. He never actually uses it. Yeah, like he like uses... throughout the whole second season. There's not one time where he's like, "Let's use magic." No. Yeah. He yeah, always I has noti- to have help from somebody else. I noticed that was that Subaru himself is super weak. He he uses yeah. people. That's All that's how he wins his battles is by using other people. And yeah, for a while I was like, okay, that's actually kind of cool. I personally thought that was a little cool. It was a little different be- because, um, it it was kind of like the main protagonist has to think. Has. Well, and that it would have been cool if he didn't have magic at all. Yeah, like I, if they had I, I never introduced him. Yeah, yeah, because then it would make sense. You know, this human gets mm-hmm. sucked into this weird video game, weird world, yeah. whatever you want to call it, with no magic. He has to think outside the box. It's more like a puzzle game, you know, mm-hmm. like a mind game. But then they're like, "Oh, actually, you have magic, but um, you can't use it because you suck." Like it just doesn't make yeah. any sense. <laughs> like, un- un- until he can use it, and yeah. And then he's just it, overpowered. Yeah. But it drained him. And he never really uses it again. Yeah. So. And, and yeah, then I kind of forgot the whole that he. Black hand. I, <laughs> yes. That is the one thing. He can see the stuff. Like, he can see. Well, he can like, see it. Well, and that's. Be- 
That's because he has, like, that darkness affinity, I think. Yeah. But, but other than, like, that, other than mm-hmm. using it as, like, a defense tactic, he never... Yeah. I kind of forgot he had magic. Yeah. Like, he just doesn't really use it. Like, the whole second season, it would have come in handy. Well, and they, they were all, like, you know, you got to recover from using that spell once. You got to recover. The whole gotta season. Recover. Yeah. And you're like, okay. I and I think, I think the hard part is just the fact that... When he dies, it feels like you just wasted three or four episodes because he yeah. goes back and then it's... Exactly. Mm-hmm. So it 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 plays around with that a little bit, but I I think they could have done better almost with the world building a, a little bit. Yes. Yes. I feel like if I was more... If there was more details and I would have a more yeah. like understanding of this world that he's in and like the the people Mm -hmm. especially i feel like i feel like the characters have almost no growth except for like maybe three or four you know what i mean and then when they finally do grow they die and you don't see them ever again like that's what pissed me off with rem Mm -hmm. it's like you finally fall in love with this character he finally has someone to rely on who's not shit Mm -hmm. and then she dies and or gets put in a coma or whatever the fuck yeah. you want to call it and she's not there until the end the last episode of season two and she's just there like at the party at the yeah. very end and you're like wait how did she come out of the coma she's not like, what happened no she's still in the coma oh she's, she's just still, sitting up she yeah she they literally just put her in, in in a dress and then just sat her there she's she's still <laughs> she's still asleep feel like that's a uh, party molestation they're like forcing her to attend parties that she's not even awake for yeah um yeah that is so dumb i was like what the heck like she was my favorite she's she's probably my favorite character and then she's just gone, gone. like you finally fall in love with the character and they're dead and the one character who doesn't ever die is a bitch and you're just like overwatching him repeat the same stuff so yeah. i don't know there's definitely aspects of the show that they could have done better because it was that's yeah. these are all things is like that's why it was so hard for me to keep watching it. I was like, oh my! Because the bottom line, if we weren't doing this, mm-hmm. I wouldn't have watched it. I would have watched, yeah. you know, four episodes. Because here's the thing: I was not intrigued at all until episode nine of season one, when Rem, when he gets taken, um, by the crazy guy, Pe- Petal Goose. Petal Goose, yeah, is, yeah, Petal Goose, and um. And she goes into the cave, and then he, like, yeah. hangs her, and she dies. Yeah. And then she, like, crawl. Ugh, it was so creepy when she, like, yeah. crawls with her elbows <laughs> to him. I was like, oh, God, please yeah. stop. But, like, that episode is what I was like, oh, I kind of like this show. Mm-hmm. And then I went three episodes into liking it, and then it, like, fucked it up again. And I was like, God dang it. Like, this is, like, so hard to get into. So I take <clears> it you're not... Like you're not drawn to like the animation or just kind of the horror aspect or you. No, you I thought- like the horror aspect, especially the sounds that they. Pay- mm-hmm. Oh my god! Like, I would be like cooking dinner while watching it, and it would like play that really creepy yeah. like sound. I'm like, oh, please stop! That's so weird. But like, I like that aspect of it. I like the horror mm-hmm. aspect. I like the goriness. I liked the battle. I love all the battle scenes yeah. that they did. I love that aspect, but I especially Mm -hmm. being someone who writes music on emotional backstories and like personalized and like very detailed stories. It's hard to get into a show like this where they're not detailed enough. The backstories don't always make sense. Like that was my biggest thing. So especially I hate having to watch a show. There's so many animes where people are like, oh, you know, after, like, the first season, it gets better. And I'm like, I shouldn't have to watch, force mm-hmm. myself to watch 24 episodes, you know, just to yeah. get to the good part. That That's not a good show. That should not be yeah. how it is. So I, if we, yeah, if we weren't forced to watch this, to do this interview, I would have been like, <laughs> I'm over it. <laughs> <It's> just... <laughs> I get it. I get it. So, um, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> Uh, oh okay. yeah we were at the we, council the, the council princesses. uh she <clears throat> leaves him yeah and and, tell, honestly, and tells him like, never I, to come back never well, come back my and my my whole thought was you, you brought it up with the whole like he could just kill himself and i was just like 
if he's so heartbroken about this, why doesn't he try? I, I mean, he he doesn't know where his last save point was, so he he may not want to do the whole village arc again. But if he's that if he's that obsessed with Amelia, it wouldn't have been a problem. Yeah, like I mean, if he's really as obsessed as he says throughout the whole fucking show, it wouldn't mm -hmm. have been a problem to just slit your wrist real fast and like. Or jump so, out, come back just alive. jump out the building. <laughs> yeah, jump out the window, <laughs> jump like, or piss off the guard enough for him to kill you. Like, yeah. well, in fact, the guy was he, gonna kill him. Yeah. He well, was no, like, no. for lying and saying you're a knight, you you need to be killed, right? Because he was like, you're lying, you're making a fool out of all of us knights. No, he tried getting him to kill him, and that knight refused. He was just going to beat him badly. That's that's what was... Oh, I thought he said because um, they were like, because you lie, you're lying and you're saying you're a knight when you're not a knight. That deserves death, I thought, is what I said. I don't, I don't I actually remember them being like, you're a liar. I thought it was just more of like, you, you're disgraceful. Oh, no, I was pretty sure that the knight definitely or was like the the insulting. knight with the blue hair. Yeah, yeah. He was like, you are not a knight for you to step up there and say you're a knight and you're not a knight. There's one point in that in that ceremony where one of them is like put him to death or whatever. And then Amelia steps in, I think. But yeah. it's one of those. It wouldn't have been hard. Bottom line. It wouldn't have been hard for him to just die right there and then restart that whole that whole yeah. part over. So. So, yeah, after that, we get the whole whale arc. The fucking whale, dude. <laughs> if I could... Okay, have you ever watched Futurama? No, unfortunately. Oh, God. There's... It's one of my favorite shows. But there's this episode where they're fighting this fucking whale in space. Mm -hmm. And that is all I can think about watching this arc. Because I'm like, why a whale? Like, why a fucking whale? It could be any badass monster you could it, think of they and they decided the to pick moby fucking dick moby reference. dick yeah and i'm like why it, <laughs> why and especially because like it was such a big deal when after you know when it showed up the first time i was like oh, okay it's just like a random a random mob like whatever and then it becomes part of the actual mm -hmm. story and i'm like okay like i guess we'll go with this but it definitely was not it wasn't very intriguing to me yeah. the whole that whole part yeah. Oh, 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 but you know who I do like that came in um mm -hmm. during that whole arc? Who? The guy that the guy that rides the um the drives the drag the uh Oh, Ricardo. What's his name with the green hair? Is that oh. his name? Sorry. He's got the green hair and he he's the Otto? carriage. Yes. Otto. Like Otto him. is best boy. I like Otto him. is best he's boy. He's so wholesome and he's so sweet. And then at the very end of the show, mm -hmm. he tells um, Subaru, he's like, you've never even asked me to help. Like, you could have always come to me for help. And now that I'm thinking about it, you've never fucking asked me. Like, he's so hurt that <laughs> yes. Subaru's never asked him for help. Well, and it, that made my heart happy. It never crossed <laughs> Subaru's mind that Otto could be a friend. Because Which is of the, weird because he saved him like three times. Yeah, like, at, at that point, yeah, <laughs> it was like all because Otto like pushed him off a carriage during the well arc. And okay, can we <laughs> can we talk about how Subaru doesn't befriend anyone who's not a yeah. woman? Like Pretty literally, much. He, he never befriends anyone that's not a woman. Nobody. Everyone he who he keeps a, close a to him is a woman. hard a little bit. He's gone for the whole yeah, fucking well, that's season. Yeah, well, that's true, though. Like, he's he's not there. <laughs> like, but... everyone Subaru is close to is a woman, and they all end yeah. up falling in love with him. Except for Rom. She never likes his bullshit. Like, the whole show. She's like, yeah. I don't like you. Barasu, I don't like you. <laughs> like, like, the whole Idiot. time. Other than that, all the other ones just, like, fall in line. And mm -hmm. I'm like, dude, why don't you, like, befriend, like... Otto, he's great. I love him. He's so wholesome, and I love him. But he also only threw him out of that carriage because he was being stupid. He's like, turn around. And he's like, no, you're going to get us both killed. And he kept yeah. trying. He's like, bye. And threw him out. Yeah. <laughs> like, I would do the same thing. Like, yeah. you can come back to life. I can't. So get the fuck out of my carriage. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I like him. He's definitely yeah. best boy for sure. Uh, yeah. I... I I really, really enjoyed him, like, in the second season. 
just sitting there and just mm-hmm. over and yeah. over again. And I th- I guess one of my issues with another issue I have with with Subaru is that he doesn't pay attention to detail at all. Like he just doesn't pick up on things. No. His and, social cues yeah. are gone. Social cues. There's even once where uh during that whole well arc, the fir- bef- the first time he died, uh, Rems actually said, "Oh, the the whale is in this area. We can't go there. We have to wait a day. Then they have to st- they had to stay at an end because of the whale." And then he just completely forgets about the whale <laughs> until then. He's yeah. so he had he's got. But to be fair, vision. if they had stayed, if they had stayed, then they would have been too late to get to the village. Yeah. But she also doesn't mention the whale that second time either. Well, that's because the whale hadn't been spotted yet. They they left a day oh, early. Oh, okay, okay. That's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah I, I mean, I'm sure dying, you know, takes a lot out of your memory. I'm sure there's like a lot of little <laughs> things you won't remember. But, um, yeah, he's definitely not the most attention. He does not pay the most attention to de- detail. That's definitely yeah. not his strong suit at all in this whole show. Mm-hmm. So... The whole well arc happens. They, sh- long story short, they they kill a well, and it a uni- giant whale, a giant red eyes that shoots yeah. shit. Yeah, and they yeah. manage to ally themselves with one of the princesses, Krush, the green haired one. Sh- yeah, the green haired one, and she's she's a bitch. Like mm-hmm. she's just a bitch. I do yeah. not like her. I like. Is it her dad? Wilhelm the is her butler. The- butler and his yeah. wife is the one that the yeah whale the sword killed. woman yeah i like him i like him a lot and i like felix she's cute and yeah. she she ends up it's like a he. killing he yeah that's yeah. right because i remembered <laughs> i was like they keep saying he but she sounds like like a girl yeah. but yeah um yeah i remember it is a he and i remember i really like him because he's like um that one time when uh subaru was like just kill me please like while i'm mm-hmm. still in control kill me and the guy's like i'm not gonna do that and she's like he's like i'll do it <laughs> he's just, <laughs> he's like crying he's like it's what subaru wants and he just like kills subaru yeah. um and then i was really sad when um the the princess uh what was her name again the crush crush she yeah. lo- she loses her like memories. Yeah, and she tells Felix like I don't want to remember, and Felix just like balls. He's mm-hmm. so sad. He's like, but I want you to remember me. Well, um, but other than that, she's not a very nice person. I don't really like Cruz very much. Yeah. Well, and then there was also Priscilla who was like, lick my feet. I literally have her I in my notes as her. lick my feet, princess. Yeah, <laughs> she's horrible. And but I really like her her knight. <laughs> you never see his face. Yes. Um, but he's so funny, and he's just like the realest person. <laughs> he's, he's like, like hey, you... <laughs> yeah. He reminds me of yeah. like just a dad. Like he's yeah. just he has like the the daddest jokes, and like mm-hmm. he's just he's just so funny, and he's just in, in the whole show. He yeah. talks like the most normal out of all of them. Mm-hmm. Like he'll just be like very straight up front. He's like, "So what you do? Like she doesn't like you very much. I gotta take you out. Sorry, she's kind of a bitch. I gotta get back." Like <laughs> he's just like he's really like yeah. straightforward. And I hope that in season three, if I decide to watch it, which I probably will because I already watched both yeah. seasons, um, I hope he's still in there. Like I hope we yeah. get to f- I hope we get to see his face. We get to figure out who he is. Like all that stuff. All right. So, but yeah, she's crazy. Yeah. <clears throat> the. After that, we get and introduced to Petzl Goose a little bit and his whole shtick. Yep. Hated I, him. Hated him until yeah. his backstory came out. I agree. And I, I agree. Like, oh, the first the first I, part, I was like, I beca- he's kind of annoying. He's weird. Do he, 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 but, but, but he creeps me out. He gave me the creeps more than anyone else in the show. Yeah. Like I mean, and that's when on you purpose. First meet him when he yeah. eats his own and fingers. <laughs> yes, and that I mean that was the first episode when they introduced mm-hmm. him that actually started intriguing me. Episode nine is when he comes yeah. in, and you really get to meet him, and that was the first episode where I was like, oh, I'm kind of intrigued. This guy's kind of fucking weird, and it's, he's doing fucked up shit. And now I'm interested, mm-hmm. and uh, like he just creeped me out. But then it's like he just was like you said earlier it's like you waste three to four episodes of your time because he dies and then he comes back and then so then you feel like you've seen this guy so mm-hmm. long and by the time he's chasing the carriage on all of his legs or whatever with just his head i was just like honestly i did not care about that part like i 
I I wish they kind of kept him dead before yeah. before that. Yeah, it exactly. Like, That's wh- what I'm saying. Why, why is time, he a monster now? <laughs> yeah, by like, that time I'm just over it. And mm-hmm. but then at the end of the like the season when it's showing her like childhood and it shows how he became the way he is, I was like, mm-hmm. oh, like he. <laughs> I feel really sad that I hated yeah. him now. Like I kind of feel bad because this is like a really fucked up backstory. What like, what you think about him telling Subaru stop faking insanity? <laughs> or um, what? When what was, was that? That 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 was when Subaru was like, I'm not doing anything. He was literally just a zombie, and Rem was taking care of him. Oh, that's right. In that carriage, when he was yes. just like, they knocked the carriage over. Yeah, and that 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 that's the one where he hangs Rem. I uh, yeah, and I mean I, he's speaking truth. Like mm-hmm. in my words, it would have been like quit being a pussy. Like you're fine. <laughs> like you could literally kill yourself and yeah. come back. But like honestly, like I did like I did like him because he was very like that. He was very upfront. Mm-hmm. And he was very honest. But he was he was a good villain. I mean I'll yeah. say that. But then when I met when they show his backstory, I kind of didn't want him to become a villain. Like. Because you get to know him in the past, and you're like, mm-hmm. God, he would have been like a, such a good, like a good ally, and and he was yeah. at that point, and it never really explains like why he went so crazy. I'm assuming it's just from, and taking in that like cursed hands and stuff. It, it, I, my my assumption was that it was that as well as just the grief of accidentally killing the one he loved because yeah but you would think you would think it would not go that way like you would think if he was so grieved over it that he would protect the one fucking thing that meant anything to her you know what i mean Mm -hmm. but instead they took him to be like the villainous kind that's part of like this weird cult and i'm like i just feel like he could have gone a whole different way and he could have been uh, such a better character if that makes sense yeah so, uh, moving on, what do you think of Puck? I like Puck, but also, as much as I like Puck, mm-hmm. he doesn't, his existence is strange to me. Like, I, like I, w- <sighs> I was always confused with Puck because I couldn't figure out if it was a guy or a girl. They always refer to him. I thought it was a boy. As, as, I think it's a boy, but, but I also thought it was the spirit of her dead mother because he says daughter he's always yeah. like oh my daughter yeah like i i really really thought it was the spirit of her dead mother because that that made sense to me in my mind because puck showed up after her mother died <laughs> yeah and and he calls her daughter so that that was yeah that was a little confusing and then just the fact that he just one day in her in her mm-hmm. lowest of low she's already been missing him yeah. you know He's like, mm, so I'm going to leave forever, so Dick. bye. <laughs> like, and then he's just gone. And you're like, this is bullshit. Like, that was just one of those points. I'm like, why would you introduce a character like that if you're just going to take them away with mm-hmm. no... Ex- like, I get good shows kill off your favorite people. It just happens. But the story to do it is normally so much more detailed. Yeah. There's normally so much. Like he, and he even, he even says, he's like, I would explain to you why I'm doing this, but we don't have enough time. So he's not even explaining it to us. He's just, yeah. you know, Subaru says, hey, she's heartbroken. She's missing you. And he's like, okay. And then he goes, he's like, so I'm going to be gone forever, actually. And then just leaves. Although he is in another crystal. He, he Yes, he does yeah, come I back. Think, yeah. But it's, but it's after a while, you know, yeah. and it's like, and I it, don't know, that whole, the, the, didn't, it didn't make sense to me. So. It it also kind of confused me. I guess he wasn't allowed to tell Amelia about her past, or like mm-hmm. he he had blocked in her memories. Yeah. So I guess we we might as well just fast forward to the second season here, so that this podcast doesn't take forever. Um, yeah. Amelia undergoes a trial to open up at this barrier in sanctuary because sanctuary is the place where all these all the witches are buried all the witches are ba- well i think it's just one honestly oh i think it's just egg no but I- i'm not sure it's it's some kind of witch graveyard so maybe um but she she's there and all these half humans are mm-hmm. there 
and they can't get out. And so they're trying to open the barrier. And yeah, what do you think about those trials? The past, present, future. <laughs> this is like where I kind of got real lost mm-hmm. this whole second season because it was just it was like, oh, they're older. Oh, they're kids. Oh, this is a vision. Oh, he's at a tea party. And it was just everywhere. Mm-hmm. Um, but I thought that, like, I feel like the witch, she, I liked her at first. Yeah. I liked her at first when he starts doing the trials. And then it just, she just becomes very, like, evil in in a sort of way. Yeah. And I just kind of was like, you know, I was ready to like her. I was ready for her to actually help Subaru. And then what do you the think end, about him being able to like talk to her about for the first time? I mean, I liked it for him. Like, you mm-hmm. know, this is something that's been weighing on him forever that he can't talk to anybody about. Um, and then he's finally finds somebody that he can talk to about it. So I get that whole aspect. But I also think that's how he she manipulated him because, you know, he, he felt like he could talk mm-hmm. to her. And then she's like, OK, yeah, but like you also have to do this for me and do this for me and mm-hmm. stuff. Um I don't know. I, this whole, like, trial thing. What, what really, ma- like, confused me is, like, I really didn't like Garfield throughout this season because he's, like, he wanted mm-hmm. to get out because they couldn't leave. But also he didn't want anything happening to the sanctuary. And I was like, well. He, he was all over the place. Yeah. Weird. Weird. And his whole backstory was my mother died in a landslide. Yeah, like really traumatic. Everyone else has a way more fucked up backstory than you, so get over it. Like, <laughs> like your sister's fine. Yeah. She had the same thing happen to her, and she's a badass, so yeah. I don't know what your problem is. Um, yeah, I just, I feel like they made all the boys in this series, like, complete little whiny babies. Mm-hmm. There is not one, other than um, Roswell, there is yeah. not one guy in this whole series... That is not a giant baby. Like literally, I was say even Reinhard, Otto. Reinhard, but I, Reinhard, yes, you never that's see. True. <laughs> you never see him. Yeah, exactly. You yeah. never see him. But like um, Otto, as much as I love him, he's still he's still just kind of a whiny baby, you know. So yeah, um, I feel like they could have made them grow a little more in character wise. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, this whole I don't know the whole second season was all over the place for me. I do like I did really 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 like like looking back into her past and like mm-hmm. seeing what happened to her mother and seeing what happened to Petal Goose and like all this stuff. Like I really liked seeing that, um, and I think that was part of like my, my one of my favorite parts of yeah. the whole second season was learning about everybody. Um, but it's also where I decided to really hate that witch. But I can never yeah. remember her name. Echidna. But that's where I was like, yeah. Echidna. Yeah. I was just like, okay, well, now I really don't hate you. Because even when you were a child, you were a devious little shit. Like, I do not like you at all. Um, But yeah, I mean, the trials. Mm-hmm. And, and I feel like the trials didn't really make much sense. Like, even though after she beat yeah. the trials, I don't really know what the reward was. Aside from just not. They could leave. They could just leave. Yeah. that That, that was the. Uh... The trials was basically you need to get to her corpse, the witch's corpse, in order to deactivate the barrier. Yes. Yeah. And and so she ends up, she is a witch. Mm Mm-hmm. Also, like, you find out she is a witch. Yeah. And so you're like, okay. So, like, you... And it's like, who's her mother? Or For me, I always thought that she had like the witch inside her that was kind of dormant like yeah well when you go back in time when she goes mm-hmm. back in time and talks to her mother yeah as she's dying she says you cared for me as much as my mom and dad you're my real yeah. mother yeah so i'm like who's your mom and dad <laughs> it's one of those it's one of the witches i actually thought yeah. it was the blonde haired witch um the one that actually stopped her and told her not to turn around but I didn't think it was her. I I definitely thought it was the the the, uh, the one that really uh, looks like her. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I honestly thought it was her. But or it, or I was like, okay, it's the it's the witch that you said your what did she say her first name was? Se- Echidna or no 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 no. In the beginning, when she says her name, oh is... Satella. Satella. What if it's Satella? 
what if she is Satella? Like at that point, I was yeah. like, what if what if she is Satella? What if she lied and she, or she didn't know she was Satella and she like subconsciously was like, my name's Satella. Like because then she ends up literally being a witch and she looks mm-hmm. exactly like Satella, who everyone says. So I'm like, okay, like what if her mom was Satella and she is part Satella? Mm-hmm. Like that's where that's where my yeah. mind went. It, it's a yeah, roller coaster. It's all all <laughs> over the place. It really um, is. <laughs> and what what do you think of the whole idea of like Roswell is like I'm going to send assassinations to assassins to the mansion as well as call up a storm of evil bunnies to come and kill us. The so you can't bunnies. You can't save two people at once, Subaru. <laughs> I uh, the bunnies. Like, why yeah. bunnies? But also, it's like, because who was at the mansion at the time? It was... Um, uh, it was just Petra and, uh, what's her, Rem? Petra, Rem, and uh, the sister. Oh, that's right. Rom. Not Rom. Uh, the the other uh, blonde hair beast oh, girl. Oh, 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 um, yes, 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 yes. What's her name? Something, at te- something, te- uh at the end it ends with an uh i think <laughs> frederica. frederica frederica yeah um that's right um i mean at that point though by the time that happens he already has um beatrice on his side so you're not yeah. super worried about it because she's the one who ends up kill- taking all the bunnies yeah she's the one that well take- at the very the end but yeah through throughout it was just kind of like okay he's got to try and save both you know everyone here at at sanctuary as well as save everyone in the mansion and but it never really yeah. like reaches on that the whole time in fact when i was re-watching the season mm-hmm. yesterday i was thinking there's like three or four episodes where you barely see subaru at all yeah while he's supposed to be doing these things you're more focused on um amelia yeah and so you don't really see the whole struggle that he's supposed to be having anyway because you're watching so much of Amelia's story Mm -hmm. and like her backstory and then like uh, Beatrice and him and Garfield. But like you don't see Subaru nearly as much in the last few episodes of the second season as you normally would. That's true. I noticed that. I was like, oh, I feel like I haven't heard Subaru cry in a while. (laughs) Weird. That that, that, (laughs) that might be a good thing. (laughs) Yeah. Yes. But it's one of those things where like if it was going to be really that big of like an ultimatum, they should have focused on it more because for a lot of those episodes, I forgot that was even an ultimatum because he was he was he wasn't really in the picture. And when he was in the picture, he was more focused on how Garfield was being an asshole than anything. Yeah, because he was with Garfield or he was the last few episodes of the second season before it all happens. He's with Beatrice. Yeah. Yeah. And And Beatrice is telling him about it. Yeah. And so the whole, the whole uh he well he's also having to try and convince Gar or Garfield to go and help him take take out the assassins. Mhm. Just the weird roller coaster of Yeah, and everything. that's all I can describe it as. It's like a roller yeah. coaster. It's like literally you're having to try to keep up with so many things. Mm-hmm. And in my opinion, I was more I was more focused on Beatrice's story and yeah. like the story of the past for amelia than i was on what subaru is supposed to be doing and i forgot about the fucking bunnies until like the last mm-hmm. episode because yeah. like the the last episode or two episodes or episode and a half or whatever is when the bunnies like show up out of nowhere and you're like oh yeah i forgot they just gotta fight all these bunnies well i mean but- <laughs> roswell summoned them yeah, yeah but it's not until like the yeah yeah you know what i the mean last episode so i'm just like oh, and then okay. and then at that point it's just like Okay, they're there. He's got everyone there to help him yeah. too. Like Beatrice is yeah. there, and yeah, yeah, yeah. And I had I had more faith in Beatrice than I did Roswell. So, I mean, Beatrice is so cool. I I I did like the one scene in the first season where Beatrice stares down Roswell because she had promised Subaru that she'd protect him. Mm-hmm. And the, the whole like I didn't I don't remember promising a timeline. Yeah, that was that's so true. Cute. I like <laughs> that. Yeah. Because she acts like she hates him so much. And then mm-hmm. she's like, I never said that when I would stop protecting him. <laughs> so, 
<laughs> yeah, I did like her. She was definitely like mm-hmm. my favorite. Yeah, I hope. I really hope that they figure out whatever the fuck they're doing with Rem because I really like Rem. Yeah. And even in the last episode of the last season, the second season, Amelia doesn't like show nearly as much affection to Subaru at all as Rem does. Yeah. Like even after all the shit he just went through. I'm like, but you but even... they kissed, so that means she's pregnant, right? I know. I like died. I was like at first I thought I was like, what is she talking about? Wait, what the fuck did I miss? And then and then he was like, Oh, I hate you, Puck. Like it was it made me laugh. Yeah. But yeah, there's just no affection at all compared to like what Rem does. And Rem well, risks her life constantly. For I him. In my mind, Amelia is still a child. Like, she's kind She got frozen as a child, and then she got up, uh, and then she pretty much got raised by Roswell. Who was a child on his own. Yeah. (laughs) But, I mean, so is Subaru, though. So. True. Like, he's definitely a very immature child. Like... He's, what, 17 in the show? Yeah. 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 Shut in, doesn't do anything. Yeah. So, I mean, I I get that aspect of it. But Rem and Rom are around the same age, I thought, as them. But I guess they're a little older. It has Uh, to be. I don't know. They're demons, and sometimes anime is like, yeah, demon girls. They they look 12, but they're really 100. Who knows? Yep. (laughs) So it's very possible. I don't know. Either way, I think Rem is a way better choice. Uh, but also, I'm like, Rem, you can do better than that. Because he's yeah. a well, lady. I just found it so adorable when she was like, and then we can g- get on a boat and sail away and have a family. And then Yeah. Did you catch the one time where, uh, I think it was in the second season, it was like the first episode when she fights greed and those two those two apostle dudes and before she loses her memory they show quick flashes of what her life would have been if she had ran I away did with Subaru see that. I did and I was a- like this show's bullshit like apparently I the really liked mangaka at, or the author I think it's a light novel uh wrote a spinoff that what would have happened if they did run away I'd read that I'd read that yeah. for sure. Cause she's, I like her a lot. Like mm-hmm. she's, I think it's between her and Beatrice over my favorite characters by far. Well, at it, first it, I didn't like the sisters at all. I didn't like Rem or Rom. I, I honestly didn't get the, the whole infatuation between them. You know, I, yeah, I was cur- cur- constantly hearing like, you know, they're uh, Rem Rom. Who, who's the better of the sisters? And I'm like, yeah, uh-huh. that's what I didn't understand either. I was like, I mean, they're both kind of badass, I guess. There's no reason to be, like, fighting over it. But I, I didn't like them at first, especially when Rem was, like, trying to kill him. I was like, oh, yeah. great. Like, she's just a two-faced bitch. And then when it explained, you know, what the heck was going on. But up until that point, I was not a fan of them. And then when she started showing, like, affection towards him, I was like, oh, my God, I actually really like her. And she's really sweet. And mm-hmm. then he's like, no, Amelia, all the time. And I'm like, Why? Why? Like she literally mostly when no you just reason. said, <laughs> yeah, that you wanted to run run away with her, especially then because he's like, I want to run away with you. I want to spend my life with you. As long as I have you by my side, I can do anything. And then she's like hesitant, and then he like persuades her, and she agrees finally. Mm-hmm. And he's like, but I don't love you, so never mind. And I'm like, you're an asshole, dude. This whole episode. Yeah, that that so that bullshit. episode felt like such a waste. It really was, and it was a toy with your emotions. Like I don't even understand. Like what was the point of that for the viewer? Was it so you would feel more heartbroken when she actually gets into a coma? Is that what it was for? We, I mean, the that's the only that's the only thing yeah. it did for me. It made me more upset that they freaking killed her off and well, kept her in a goddamn for, coma. For me, the. I thought the coma was more of a plot device for him to try and get back with Amelia and try to focus the narrative. Like, they ca- they had too much focus with Rem. They needed to sideline her at s- some point, so. Either way, it made me mad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Either yep. way, it was not what I wanted. <laughs> All right, so 
we're pretty much running over time now so it, anything else you want to talk about any final thoughts I don't think so. Did we hit everybody? I think we caught up with everybody. For for the most we? part, I mean, we we missed we some things here and there. We probably skimmed. I mean, there's the girl in the crystal that grew up with Beatrice. Oh, the the clone. Yeah, the clone. That weirded me out too. She's the grandmother. The girl yeah. with the pink hair. She's the grandmother of uh, Garfield and mm-hmm. whatever her name is. Um, yeah, and she wasn't a huge part either. I mean, she kind of was, but not really. She yeah. was in and out. Um, but I, th- I think we, I, I think, think all the characters were yeah. spoken for, I think. All right, so, like, final thoughts? Just be like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, it's a rough ride. Like, if you're a huge weeb and you want to watch all animes, like my friend Otaku Wire, uh, mm-hmm. then watch it. Okay, yeah. watch it. Because then, I mean, you want to have all the knowledge, watch it. But it's rough. Yeah. Like, you have to be really focused, like, to really... And you have to, like, take notes in your brain of, like, what mm-hmm. happened. And I did have to rewind a few times. So just be warned. <laughs> it might take a while to, like, understand the story. Um, it's not my favorite anime. I will say that. Um, but it wasn't... Towards the end, once I watched it all, I was like, okay, like, it wasn't horrible. Um, it's just a lot your your brain is constantly having to think about what the fuck that meant mm-hmm. the whole time but other than that i mean yeah it's decent i give it like a six a six out of ten yeah that's pretty solid i think i'd give it more like a seven and a half i mm-hmm. for me like what really drove me was also like the music i fell the in music love was good with the music of the anime at the mm-hmm. art style and I the art style was cute. I I thought it was pretty decent. I feel like Reinhardt was a completely different art style than all the other characters. Did you feel that way? Yeah, like a his face bit. was like completely drawn differently than most of the other characters. Yeah, a little weird. <laughs> but other than that, I was like, the art style was pretty good, especially like the fighting scenes and stuff. Like they did really good with like the different colors and yeah, all the all that kind of stuff. But. Yeah, it's decent. All right. Well, you want to plug your stuff one more time? Oh, um, yeah. So it's Sailor Your Love on mm-hmm. YouTube and on Twitch and on pretty much everything. That is my name for everything. So just Sailor Your Love. Um, go listen to my music. I just dropped a Gojo track, so that's fun. All right. <laughs> and so with all that being said, I'm the Anime Over Analyst, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. Yes. Bye. We're talking nerdcore. Talking nerdcore. Are we? We're talking nerdcore.